In this video we're going to have a look at a Python dictionary. A dictionary in Python allows for fast access to values. You do not have to iterate over a dictionary searching for a value. Access to a value is via a key allowing for direct access to the value. Let's consider the following. Here you can see I have a table and the table has two columns and three rows. If we have a look at this particular column here, you can see that it has UK for United Kingdom, France and Germany, and here it has a value. Now what we have is an arrangement whereby if I wanted to know what the capital of France was, you go here to the key and you come across here and you can see that the capital is Paris. If I wanted to find the capital of UK, we locate the UK key and here we can see that the value is London. Now if we wanted to consider how we could do this in Python, then you can see here I have the appropriate syntax. This particular entry, well that maps to this here, where the UK is the key and London is the value. And you can see that between the UK and London, we have this colon. The UK, you can see, is in quotes. And in this case, that means that the key is a string. And also, London is in quotes, which means that the value, in this particular case, is also a string. If we look at this entry in the table, we can see that that is here, in its Python form where again the key we can see is a string, and in this case it's France, and the value is Paris, again a string, and we can see there's a colon separating them. And we can go on to the last row, and we can see that this is this one here, where we have Germany being the key, and Berlin being the value. When we talk about dictionaries in Python, you will often hear people refer to the fact that what we have is a key to value mapping where this key here UK is mapped to London and this colon here is effectively acting as the thing that maps the UK to London and here we can see France is mapped to Paris. To create a dictionary in Python, we take these mappings and we actually line them up, as you can see here. We take each one in turn, and between each of them, we can actually place a comma. And if we then surround the whole thing by two curly braces, as you can see here, we have now a definition that we can use in Python for a dictionary where we can see here we have a pair, where this is the key, and this is the value. Here's another pair, this is the key, this is the value. And finally we have another pair, where Germany is the key, and Berlin is the value. Now I'm going to take this particular syntax that you can see here, and I'm going to put it in a Python program, which you can see here. And I've created a variable name called capitals, and that's been assigned this lot. And if you look carefully, this is exactly what you've seen here. And of course, what I'm doing on this particular line is printing capitals. And when I print it, this is the output we get. And we can see that we have the same pairs. Here's the pair here, where France is the key, Paris is the value. Here we have another pair where Germany is the key, and Berlin is the value. And over here we have UK being the key, and London being the value. Now, you will note that the order that these appear here is different to the order that they appear here. Now, I'm not going to go into why this is the case, but what I will say is that when we deal with dictionaries, there is nothing important about the order in which things appear in the dictionaries themselves. What we have is a quick mechanism of getting at individual values within a dictionary. Let's consider this computer program and it's pretty similar to the one we've just been 
concerned with. We can see on this line that I'm creating a dictionary and we've looked at this particular dictionary a moment ago. Now this line is what has been altered. You can see I'm still going to be printing something associated with the dictionary capitals but if you notice following the word capitals we have this here which are two square brackets in which we have a string UK. Now that's the key and what this key is going to do, it's going to go to the dictionary, it's going to see where the key is, well it's here, and it's going to say, right, what value is associated with me? And of course the answer is London. So when the program runs, what's going to be output, as you can see here, is London. Please note that when we created the dictionary on this line, we actually used these curly brackets here. When we then went on to this line and we wanted to locate the value associated with this key, please note that square brackets were used. So it's important that you realize where to use the square brackets and where to use the curly brackets. Consider the following computer program. Here you can see the changes being made with respect to the program by me including a different key here whereas it was UK in the last program it's now Germany and of course that means that we're going to be looking at this pair and of course Germany is the key and the value is Berlin so what's going to be printed as we can see from the runtime is Berlin and just for completeness, we're going to have a look at this computer program and you can see that I'm using the key on this occasion to be France. Consequently, what should be output will be the value associated with the key France. And of course, we should know by now that that will be Paris. So if we have a look at the output, we can see indeed we get Paris. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video?